Hello friends of the Uthermo channel. In this video we are going to show you how to use the XSUS package to calculate isotherms of a pure substance, propane, on the PV plane pressure volume using a cubic equation of state, which will be the Peng Robinson model. In particular, we are going to draw these isotherms at three different temperatures, 359.8, 369.8, and 379.8 Kelvin. We will start the curves from a minimum molar volume value of 1.1 times 10 to the minus 4 cubic meter per mole. We will use 300 points and a molar volume increment of 2 times 10 to the minus 6 cubic meter per mole. Equation 1 is the Peng Robinson equation of state. In it, we see that we can calculate the pressure as an explicit function of temperature and molar volume, which is denoted with the V with underscore. Equations 2 to 5 define auxiliary terms of the Peng Robinson model. We will use the Excel based XSUS package, and in it, the cells with orange background represent problem specifications. The other cells with white background are the results of calculation. This is the overall look of the Excel sheet that we're going to use to solve this problem. The first cell with orange background is the universal gas constant. Then we have a set of properties that characterize propane, its critical temperature, critical pressure, eccentric factor, and Kij value, which is binary interaction parameter. Actually, it's not really necessary for calculations with pure components, but for compatibility with the use of mixtures in the excess US package, we need to put it even if it's equal to zero. Then we have the fact that propane is pure and therefore its mole fraction is equal to one, the three temperatures at which we are going to make calculations, and finally, the minimum value of the molar volume, which is equal to 1.1 times 10 to the minus four cubic meter per mole. Let's use the function PRP, peng Robinson pressure to calculate the first argument is the value of the universal gas constant, which we lock with F4. Then we use the temperature and we press F4 once, twice, and this locks the row, but not the column. Next, we get the molar volume, and this time we press F4 three times, locking the column, but not the row. Next, the mole fraction, which we lock with F4, and the parameter set also locked with F4. We press Enter and get the pressure. We drag laterally and get the pressures at the two other temperatures. Next, We'll increment the molar volume by the specified amount of 2 times 10 to the minus 6 cubic meter per mole. And we'll calculate the pressure at the three temperatures. We are ready to drag down for the 300 points we need to calculate. You are scrolling down. Here we are. Let's now scroll up to take a look at the plot. So we have the three isotherms. The green one is at the highest temperature. It's called a supercritical isotherm because it's above the critical temperature of propane and it goes smoothly down without a point of maximum and without a point of minimum. The red isotherm is at the critical temperature. And here at the critical condition, we have a saddle point. It's neither maximum, neither minimum, and a change of concavity. The blue isotherm is below the critical temperature. It's a subcritical isotherm, and it presents a point of minimum and a point of maximum. The key aspects of this example were First, the observation that subcritical, critical, and supercritical isotherms have different shapes on the pressure volume plane. 
as predicted by a cubic equation of state such as the Peng robinson model. Another observation is that for a given molar volume, as the temperature increases, the pressure increases. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, visit our Facebook page, and see you the next time.